During the Cold War, the U.S. relied on a spy satellite for intelligence about other countries, and that satellite was built right here in Connecticut. That decades-old program is getting renewed complaints, and the News 8 investigators are on it. Chief Investigator David Iverson joins us now with the details. David. Right, we're talking about the dust from those spy satellites, and it's not ordinary dust either. It's a metal in the air that experts call toxic. It was one of America's most closely guarded secrets. When President Reagan in the 80s said, trust but verify, we did the verification. A program not even publicly acknowledged by the government until just a few years ago. All of what he was doing was, was very, very classified. Right here in Connecticut at this Danbury facility was the hub for a classified spy program where thousands of engineers and technicians put together the Hexagon KH-9 satellite. We looked at Russia and China and other places to see where they were cheating on, on uh, uh, treaties, uh, in, increasing their missile sites, silos, or whatever. It was cutting edge for its time, and this satellite was responsible for foreign intelligence during the Cold War and beyond. For more than a decade after the program ended, engineers Phil Pressel and Oscar Baron kept their work top secret. When the National Reconnaissance Office finally revealed the spy in the sky to the world, those who weren't closest with it revealed the dark side of what was really going on. The parts were not as clean as they were supposed to have been. Baron Schoen had blood tested in three states by three independent labs. What he would come to find out years after he left his work on the KH-9 was that he had a disease linked to that fine dust on those parts. For at least 12 years, you know, I've, I've, I've uh, had uh, a continuous problem in breathing. Medical records provided by Baron Schoen linked that illness to this metal. Doctors call it a straightforward case of beryllium-induced pulmonary fibrosis. That metal on these parts and now on Baron Schoen's lungs is beryllium. It was used mostly in the aerospace industry. It has a reputation for being light and extremely strong. So light and so strong, it used to be used in golf clubs just like this one. But there are dangers with beryllium. The U.S. Department of Labor calls it potentially toxic. And Connecticut has its own limits about how much workers can be exposed to. The problem with beryllium, however, is if any dust or fibers are in the air, they can do very bad damage to lungs, similar to asbestosis. The disease he has is called beryliosis. The scarring on Baron Schoen's lungs looks just like this. Those white scratches that you see shouldn't be there. Dr. Michael Conway confirmed Baron Schoen's condition. The individuals with it are rarely severely ill. Over 22 years, Baron Schoen built 20 satellites. In 2012, he was diagnosed with berliosis. The problem with beryllium is that you uh, don't feel the effect. It takes many years to, to feel the effect. The state agency that monitors workplace safety, Connecticut's Occupational Safety and Health Administration, wouldn't talk to Baron Schoen. They sent him this letter saying it has been too long for them to do anything about this. And the company that built the satellite, Perkin Elmer, it doesn't exist anymore, not like it did. The portion of the company that built the satellite is now United Technology Aerospace Systems. They declined to comment on this story. This is a classic occupational disease. David Morrissey now represents Baron Schoen in a workers' compensation case. In that claim, doctors blame the 20 years of beryllium exposure for Baron Schoen's illness. Together, they are trying to get reimbursed for medical expenses Baron Schoen has been paying for years on his own. But Baron Schoen wants to take it a step further. What I would like to see is an official investigation in how in the world it was possible to expose a thousand people. I think that we should have been warned and protected more at the machine shops by being given masks. The machine shop should have recommended you should get a baseline x-ray of your lungs. Years later, employees are still fighting for what they say was too little warning. A dark blemish for an otherwise well-remembered part of Connecticut <laughs> and American history. What we did was incredible. We designed this probably still most complicated thing ever put up in orbit. 
Now we checked so far, this is the only known case of beryllium exposure from that facility. For the News 8 investigators, David Iverson reporting. All right, David, thanks. If you've got something you want the News 8 investigators to check out, just call our investigators tip line. That's the number on your screen, 203-402-TIP-8.